Good morning, YouTube. Well, I got my next little project done. I built a jib crane off the corner of my trailer. I've been planning on doing this for a while, but this uh, this uh, lathe, I got this lathe, and this is the uh, uh, best thing that ever happened to me. This is what's called a chain lathe, and uh, very early, pre-Civil War, you can see the chain right here, and now this isn't bicycle chain. This is a chain that uh, each link would have been made by a uh, blacksmith or the factory, however they made it, but uh, one link at a time by hand. And uh, But I got this, and uh, I had it on my trailer. This is my flatbed trailer, which is going to be my next uh, project. And this is a test of my jib crane. I'm, uh, I'm rating it at about a uh, thousand pounds out here on the end of it. Uh, it'll probably pick up a ton. And I believe this lathe probably weighs about 800 pounds. So what we got is uh, it better work. It is working. And I'll show you something about this lathe here. Now, not only is it a chain lathe, but it's also the slide rest is rise and fall. And this right here, I turn it in to raise it and out to drop it back down. The cutter would go right in here. And this was in a time when uh, we're probably uh, three or four decades from the beginning of the Industrial Revolution and so they had to figure out a way to get the cutting tool to go center of the work in your lathe and this is what they used a rise and fall um, I, I believe it was invented around 1819 I think this this is a it, I'm really not sure who it was but Washburn and Light or, or something like that. I could be wrong. But uh, they were a company that was in business from 45 to 51 in Worcester, Massachusetts. And that was uh, 1845 to 1851. It also has uh, some nice features on it. Uh, antique features. I think these are the take ups for the change gears it does have change gears and it has back gear and this has a, a special way of working we take these two and loose and the whole mechanism slides forward and back which is a really archaic way of using it the the pulleys are made out of wood. It's got a very nice uh, early chuck on it. And it's just an overall very nice lathe. I'm going to dedicate this trailer. It's a, really a mess right now. But I'm going to dedicate this trailer to this lathe and uh, see where it takes us. But right now I, I finished building my my jib crane gotta have the cut of your jib and uh, we're hanging out there on the end with about 800 pounds I think we're plenty uh, stout enough actually what I used was a three and a half inch sked 40 for the pivot pin and four inch uh, sked 40 were actually the bearing surfaces and so I, I think I really uh, over-engineered it, and I, and I kind of try to do that, especially when you're building something like this, where you're gonna, you know, pick up a 800 pounds or 1,000 pounds. That, that that can get dangerous real quick, and you'd be crushed underneath it. So you better better 
be safe. All right, thanks a lot. If you have any comments, leave them down below. If you like it, please push the like button. Thank you. Bye.